first we find the critical numbers of this function inside negative 4 and 4 for that we need to find the derivative so the derivative of this function is found by using quotient rule okay on the bottom bottom is square on the top derivative of top derivative of x is square 2x minus 2x times the bottom minus derivative of bottom is 2x times the top x square minus 4 okay let's simplify the top bottom is x is square plus 4 quantity square distribute 2x 2x x square 2x cubed plus 2x times 4 8x minus 2x cubed minus minus plus 2x times 4 8x 2x cubed minus 2x cubed cancel 8x plus 8x so 16x over x square plus 4 quantity square okay so this is the derivative now to find the critical numbers we set the derivative equal zero and find the x values okay so that is 16x over x square plus 4 quantity square equals 0 and whenever we have a fraction equals 0 bottom has no contribution you can think 0 over 1 and cross multiply so this implies the top equals 0 you can think 0 over 1 cross multiply 16x equals 0 16 times x so divide by 16 then we get x equals 0 okay we need to make sure if this lies on the domain of this function okay by the way x square minus 4 over x square plus 4 the bottom is always positive x square plus 4 okay this never becomes 0 that means the domain of this function is all real numbers so this is a critical number that's good and this one this lies inside negative 4 and 4 now we need to find other types of critical numbers okay we know from the definition of a critical number if the derivative is undefined at some x value and if that x lies on the domain then that x value is also a critical number okay, let's see this is the derivative is this undefined for any value of x uh, okay let's try for 0 0 is square is 0 plus 4 so 0 is not a bad number negative 2 negative 2 is square 4 plus 4 so in fact this is defined for all values of x so this is the only critical number we can get for this function okay there are no other critical numbers next we want to evaluate the function at the critical number and at the endpoints of this given closed interval so 0 negative 4 and 4 okay all we have to do is plug in the x equals 0 in this function 0 minus 4 0 plus 4 negative 4 over 4 just negative 1 plug in negative 4 okay negative 4 is squared negative 4 is squared 16 16 minus 4 12 12 over 16 plus 4 20 12 over 20 okay 12 20 that's uh, 12 over 20 is in fact 3 fifth okay that's 3 over 5 okay and plug in 4 same thing 4 is square 16 minus 4 12 over 20 again 3 fifths okay so this is the absolute maximum in fact the absolute maximum occurs at two different x values but all we care is absolute max value that is 3 fifths and absolute minimum value that's negative 1 
final.